You're watching Fox Monday Night. ashamed of yourself. They were wet. What was wet? What? Huh? And Judy says we don't know how to talk to each other. Don't try and distract me from my true purpose. I know you sell those books on sex. Not that I was looking for them. I was looking for books on se septic tanks. Wanda, why would I steal books from the library when I'm already up to my eyeballs in office supplies? Well, if it wasn't you, and it's not Judy, and it's certainly not me, then it would have to be Oh, my God. There's a pervert loose in the library. <laughs> I know it. I can feel it in my bones and other places. <laughs> well, at least someone is feeling good. <laughs> Especially Wanda. She was discovering her own body. The lamb that time forgot. <laughs> Mary? And this is not easy for me to say. <laughs> I have no feeling from the bridge of my nose down. <laughs> I had a dentist appointment this morning. An appointment you promised to take me to. <laughs> Judy, I had the best intentions, okay? I had a very well-crafted plan that would have allowed me to give a little merry time to a lot of people. I promised to walk Natasha's dog, but he had a problem with constipation. When I said I'd take my landlord's daughter to school, who, although not constipated, walks very slowly, by the time I got to your apartment, you were gone. And quite frankly, I was a little disappointed you didn't leave a note. Mary, that soliloquy took longer than my appointment. I would have taken you, Judy. I'd do anything for you. And to prove it, I'll be outside your door every morning at six o'clock, whether you're going to the dentist or not. <laughs> what am I saying? That was creepy. Huh? So how was the dentist? Was he cute? No, he was not cute. <laughs> More ruggedly handsome. <laughs> he tried to be gentle during the drilling, but still the pain was almost too much to bear. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> he would have taken the tooth out, but he said it was not safe unless someone was there for me. I explained that I was all alone, that my goddaughter had forsaken me, <laughs> that there was no one. And he cried, Mary. <laughs> I made a dentist cry. <laughs> Judy, this is ridiculous. It's obvious Mary can't be trusted. I'm taking you down to that dentist right now, and I'm not taking no for an answer. No, Wanda. Yes, ma'am. 
<laughs> Excuse me here. I can too be trusted, okay? Many, many people count on me for many different things. Exactly, Mary. Too many people. You always have a million places to be, million things to do. Well, one day, you're going to wake up with a bunch of disappointed friends. Toothless, disappointed friends. <laughs> Client is called Fountain of Youth. I'm the stylist. The theme of the party is androgyny. You're in black boots and a black skin-tight leotard. Can't you just see it? Yes, and I'm afraid everyone else will be seeing it too. <laughs> Come on, O'Neill. It's going to be a great party. Lots of guys cupping their breasts. <laughs> hey, you know who's going to be there? This is the Fountain of Youth girl. Ooh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll wear the black stretchy thing. But if my thighs look fat, I'm adding a skirt. Hey, everyone, it's me, Mary. Friday night, O'Neill in a cat suit. How'd you do it? I had to show him a picture of Greta Garbo. Don't tell him she's dead. Derek, am I a dependable friend? I mean, of course you're dependable. You're only 48 minutes late for lunch, so you still have 12 minutes to analyze why I let people take advantage of me. Derek, I was late for you. I completely missed Judy's dentist appointment. Am I evil? Derek. I'm sorry, I thought that's rhetorical. <laughs> I think you just have to learn how to say no once in a while. But I hate even the word no. It's so negative. I mean, sure, I'm spread thin, but a little Mary goes a long way. Well, I don't care if little Mary goes all the way. <laughs> the point is, you absolutely must be here Friday night. I need you to do that special thing only you know how to do. Then you'll need to get parallel bars. <laughs> Touch it. <laughs> no way, Derek. It's not gonna bite you. <laughs> I can't. Here. I'll just lay it in your hand, okay? Derek, put it away. Put it away. I'm sorry. I'm just not ready. <laughs> Grow up. It's just a date book. <laughs> all the days of the week, all the weeks of the year, everything broken down neatly into hours. I guess it's kind of cute. Oh, God. Derek, look at all the holidays I've missed. I know those are Jewish holidays, but that doesn't mean you can't take them. <laughs> the important thing is that in times of chaos, this book will give you order. In times of weakness, it will give you strength. In times of wetness, it will keep you dry. Can it handle even my heaviest days? Mary, it was invented by a woman for a woman. And it will try to keep you from doing more than one thing at a time. This is the perfect solution for the girl who can't say no. It's amazing how one little thing can completely change your life. Oh, for me, it was when cigarette jeans came back. <laughs> Now, for your very first entry, my big fountain of youth, kickoff party, Avenue B on Friday. This Friday? Yeah. Oh, thank God, because for a minute there, I thought it was Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Officer, it darn well is a police matter. He's been stealing books. Dirty books. <laughs> I'm just an innocent young woman, inexperienced in the ways of men, all alone here in the library. Just a button-down white shirt, pleated wool skirt, and penny loafers. Why? Judy, I appreciate you trying to put on a brave face. Or whatever it is you call that. <laughs> but I'm ready to take you to the dentist. Just say the word. I called the dentist. His book is completely filled. So... If you don't mind, I'll just stay in my office and suck up the pain. <laughs> Judy, why don't you just tell them it's an emergency? There's always an easy way out for you. <laughs> Hello, FBI. Yes, I'd like to report the police department. I believe one of their officers was hitting on me, and I did nothing to provoke it. I'm just an innocent young woman, inexperienced in the ways of men. <laughs> A button-down white shirt, pleated wool skirt, and penny loafers. My name is Jacob. My parents told me to bring these books back. 
Ah, the human sexuality books. Shh, you want everybody to know how lame I am? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being curious about this stuff. Why don't you just check them out? Because you're a girl, and girls scare me. How come? Because I'm from Mars and they're from Venus. Uh, Walker, this is Jacob. I think we found your man. Well, I am very disappointed in you. Stealing these books? What if somebody needed them? Somebody inexperienced in the ways of men. She's not from Mars or Venus. She's a Klingon. Well, I got an appointment. Friday, five o'clock. I'll check my book. Ah, <sighs> perfect. Derek's my nine o'clock. You'll be my five o'clock. I'll pencil you in. Write it in pen or don't write it at all. <laughs> hey, handsome. Come back here. Wow, you think I'm handsome? Yeah, in a tiger beat kind of way. <laughs> How come I'm the only kid who doesn't have a date for the junior high dance? Oh. Okay. How many girls did you ask? Let's see. Today's Wednesday. I guess zero. <laughs> well, a girl can't read your mind. You have to ask. Will you go to the dance with me? Exactly, just like that. No, I'm asking you. Will you go to the dance with me? <laughs> Jacob, I'm a grown woman. Can you honestly see us together? Honestly, I see myself alone for the rest of my life. Forget it. I knew no one would go with me. When's the dance? Friday night. Of course it is. <laughs> Look, Jacob, I know this feels like a really important night for you, and it is. But on that very same night, I've already made commitments to two very important people in my life. Maybe my mom will be my date. I hope the guys don't laugh. Jacob, of course they'll laugh. <laughs> okay, I'll go with you Friday night. Great. Sure, you can't be two places at once, but... Three is probably doable. Wanda, must you breathe? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The dentist called and had to change Judy's appointment. Right. My Friday is already pretty full. Right. That's the night you're supposed to be at a dance and a party at the same time. Lifestyles of the blonde and unreliable. <laughs> Followed by the young and the sexless. <laughs> I'll have you know, Wanda, that with some exact scheduling, Friday will not be a problem. Oh, I think it will be. Because now Judy's appointment has been changed to an hour later. And I think that's a big problem. <laughs> Mary, are you still there? I can't see you with that big problem in the way. No, Wanda, that's not a problem. Those are your eyebrows. <laughs> You're not taking Judy, are you? You're going to flake out on her just like you did last time, and she'll be disappointed, and I'll be sitting pretty. I promise to take Judy, and I will. Oh, and by the way, I've seen you sit, and it's not pretty. <laughs> Neil, I want you to have my date book. I took a private lesson with Derek, and I still can't get it to work. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. I don't really need it. I'm only halfway through last year's, but... What am I kidding, O'Neill? It's not the date book, it's me. I think I can be everywhere for everyone, but the Mary well has run dry. And the scary thing is, I still have a few more yeses left in me. It's a good thing the Republicans didn't ask me to run for vice president, because I wouldn't have been able to say no. Mary, you should be honored that you were even considered. O'Neill, when things are their darkest is when I begin to shine. I am going to make Friday night work, and when I do, a change will sweep the nation. We will no longer use date books. We'll use... The Mary calendar. Isn't that the place that sells pies? I am so proud of you to think having both molars pulled with just Novocaine and four hits of nitrous. <laughs> Mary, your living room is moving. Judy, you know what I realized? A girl can be all things to all people. All she needs is the number of a great limousine service and the key to the library's petty cash tour. Oh, by the way,
by the way, I left you an IOU. I love you, too. <laughs> the plan is laughably simple, really. <laughs> I'm taking you home, and then in six minutes, my 14-year-old date and I are going out for the best hour and 22 minutes of his life. After which, I'll take him home to bask in the afterglow that is Mary. But wait, there's more. <laughs> then... I'm off to Derek's party, where New York's swankiest will drink in the night and possibly throw it back up. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit silly. I didn't make a fourth plan. <laughs> Dr. Bob is a funny guy. <laughs> I know, and I think he likes you. Did you see how he wasn't really trying when you chased him around the chair? <laughs> okay, Judy, let's find your keys. Ooh, new toothbrush. Hmm. Hello to self. Fire Wanda. <laughs> Painkillers, eight of them. Uh oh, two of them. Oh, but smell how fresh my breath is. <laughs> so handsome in your suit. I feel like I'm going to the Oscars or the MTV Awards. Or just a really great bar mitzvah. <laughs> anyway, we are going to have a wonderful night together. <laughs> it's pretty good so far. Look, Jacob, I know this is more woman than you were expecting. Do you know how some pill bottles say don't operate heavy machinery? Well, right now, Judy could kill herself with a tissue. <laughs> Kazoon hype. <laughs> Ooh, 9.30 already Sure is hard to stay up late after you hit the big duo I don't think I'll ever sleep again From the envy of every guy in the 8th grade some of the teachers, too. <laughs> Let's both never grow. <laughs> Mint? <laughs> They'll never ask you to dance if you don't smile. <laughs> oh, look, Jacob, I have to be honest. I have somewhere else to go. Although I do want you to know it's not another guy. Well, actually, it is another guy, but a different kind of guy. <laughs> Talk to your music teacher about it. <laughs> Where are we going? Am I overdressed? Because I can lose the tie. <laughs> Jacob, you don't want to leave all your friends. You're right. Come on, guys, we're going to a party. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> What do you think? I think in this outfit I lose a lot of my mystery. <laughs> I was talking about the party. I mean, does this say Fountain of Youth to you? Well, the models aren't eating, the ad execs are talking on their cell phones, everybody seems really bored, and I look like the bad girl in a James Bond movie. <laughs> on the plus side, you could look like a silver sperm. <laughs> How could Mary do this to me? I'm her best friend. Oh, great. Here comes my client. So, when's the party going to start? Whenever you give me the high sign. I guess that would be now. Hey, it's me. I was so sorry, Mary. <laughs> Finally, it's Mary. And her angels of death. <laughs> Hold that glare. I'll be right back. This is a dream. I don't ever want it to end. You're all under 15, right? <laughs> Where were you? Sarah, don't worry. Mary is here, and she's going to save the day. How? Oh. Mary doesn't have time to answer questions. Derek, what the hell are you thinking? Well, I wanted the night to say elegance and sophistication, but then these kids... These wonderful kids... These wonderful kids... <laughs> With all their energy and youth... Energy. They're a fountain. 
fountain? A fountain? A fountain. A fountain? Of youth. A fountain of youth. I figure if it's youth we're selling, then by God, show me kids and show me lots of them. It's brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. Derek's a genius. No, just unbelievably creative. You hate me? Just a little. Okay, I'm done. Man, I haven't danced as much since my mom took me off riddling. You having a good time? Oh, the best. I already have two dates for next Friday. Trust me, Jacob, it's not as great as it's cracked up to be. I know, I'm a little nervous. Still have a lot to learn about girls. Want to make out in the bathroom? No. Come on, everybody else is. No, Jacob, no. And I'm not just saying it to you. I'm saying it to everybody I couldn't say no to before. See, Jacob, only by saying no to some people can you really mean yes to anyone. So I'm shouting no to every man, woman, and child on the street. Mary, could you take this out? No! <laughs> Wherever there's a party thrown by Derek that conflicts with a dentist appointment for Judy, I'll be there to say no. Wherever someone asks me to do something at the expense of another and that other is me, I will be there to say no. Mary, some of the guests... No! <laughs> From now on, no more Mr. Nice, Mary. Understood? Not really. And I'm sure glad I didn't ask if I could fill you up. <laughs> and what did Mary learn today? <sighs> that Derek is very forgiving. That little boys are horny. <laughs> and that Judy may have had a reputation in high school. <laughs> Come on, baby, make that Trey dance. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>